We have floors. Uh, let's put them on the floor. And all we're gonna do today is show you how to install flooring. As uh, Russell said he's done it a couple times, I've done it once at the vape shop. I assisted, I'm gonna say that. But today we're gonna do it. So we're installing luxury vinyl flooring. Luxury? Plank. Luxury, dude. It does say luxury on I it. I told you I know what I'm talking about. Luxury vinyl plank flooring waterproof we got it from Lowe's uh, take a look all right here is the flooring we picked out it's the Procore uh, plus it's waterproof it is easy installation kid and pet proof uh, attached pad yeah that's nice it does have an attached pad but since our surface is not level and we're not doing self-leveling yeah we don't care about these cracks yeah, so we're just gonna do it. That's what we're gonna said. use this. And actually, this product, this is Pergo Gold. Um, it is an underlayment for, um, let's see, laminate wood floorings. And the reason we went ahead and got the laminate wood flooring versus the vinyl plank flooring is because it's a little bit thicker. It's three millimeters versus a millimeter and like one and a half. Um, that gives it a little bit more cushion, and the reason why is because we got uneven surfaces. And we didn't want to put down a self-leveler in case we ever take this office down, and then we'll have a big lip. Right? That was Show what you said. Yeah. And I mean, this floor is pretty, it's level, it's just got cracks in it. So let's hope that this uh, underlayment is going to fix it. You ready to do this? Yes, I'm ready. So what's the first process? Lay this stuff down on the floor. Hey, let's lay this uh, underlayment down. Let's lay it down. All right, first process, putting down this Pergo underlayment. Pretty self-explanatory, but what you do is you just lay it out. You know, I've been it. reading this as Prego. Pergo. Because I'm an idiot. You've been reading? I'm like, it's Prego Gold. <laughs> Pergo Gold. You lay this out, you just cut it to the room, and then you take this right here. What is this, like a, what do you call this? We're not reading any any destructions. This is just the seam. Any the seam. what? Any destructions. What are destructions? Instructions. I just, can, you're a destruction. Yeah, for no. sure. This, uh, this is what, this little strip here binds the two together and seals in this crack. You just line them up, peel this off, and stick it down. Yeah, that, that way it's waterproof. All the way through and through, right? Through and through. All right, cool. So we're doing that, and we've got our last piece to install. And then what are we gonna do? We're start gonna start throwing floors down. Throwing them down? Throwing them. Dude, that'd be cool if we did that deal where you just throw the floors down and they're installed. Yeah. All right. So uh, next process is fixing coming up. Dude, first process is done. You ready? Don't sound so excited, Russell. You ready? I'm ready to lay hip, this. Hip, hip. Hooray! What are we doing? I'm just making me a tapping block out of this broken one. Okay. Went ahead and started. I was trying to figure this out off camera. Wasn't doing like I thought it would do. And Russell came in and saved the day. Like Here the we come to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we were doing it wrong. We both assumed that you would put it like, so you're, you have a lip on this side right here, you see it. And they snap together. And then you don't have a lip, you have the under lip, uh, is what I'm gonna call it, I don't know what you call it. But it's said to put this side right here up against the wall. And I would assume that you did it the opposite way, but so did Russell. Russell thought we would do it that way as well. But we were wrong, we read the destructions and it said to do it that way. Destruction. And now we're destroying it. We've destroyed a couple pieces in the process, right? Yeah. It'll be okay though. All 
Okay, so I've only done a couple of these floors, but the best way I can tell you how to do it is it's all about lining it up and getting your angle right when you're installing it. This, this fat lip here fits underneath this. They all kind of fit together like a joint. And once you get them in there, they're basically locked in place. So I, I just slide this up here and then try to get my gap on this end as close as I think it should be. Get your angle. Get my angle. Hold on, let me get my hammer. Okay, you need a, what do you need? You need this a is a rubber mallet. Yeah. And just a scrap piece. And I use the piece that would receive this. So if you were putting a new piece on here, you would use this wide lip in this channel. Yeah, so just like you were installing it. Right, and that's my tapping block. And the, oh, it's because I'm not in there. See? Now you're... I just use this scrap piece yeah. to hit again so you don't actually mess up the floor that you're putting down. Okay. So you don't need to buy a tool. You can cut these any size you want. Just your scrap pieces, pieces that you drop, any cut off. But the way this works, we only have to make... If we lined out perfect. Yeah. You just make a cut and that'll offset your seams. Mm -hmm. So that it's staggered. And we, in this room, just happens to be the perfect width. For three pieces. Yes. And so we only have to make er every other piece we lay down, we have to cut a little. We right. Cut it, right? Right. All right, let's get, uh, let's just, let's just. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. I'm too, uh. ADD? No. Blame it on my ADD. The thing I'm realizing it. is that I'm analyzing every little detail too much. And I turned to Russell and I said, do you see why I never get anything done? And Russell said, <laughs> what'd you say? I don't know, I said, uh. You see why I like to just truck along? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a good dynamic that. And like I told him, sometimes I get a little too ahead of myself and it's good to have somebody to rein me in and be like, hey, this little detail here. Yeah. You're like my wife oh. when I'm at home. <laughs> All right, we're going to get back to it. Everything laid out almost perfectly. I need a saw for this one. We got saws. Because, uh... We having to cut around make there? That cut. row is going to be a pain in the butt. It is, but that fit super nice. Yeah, you did an excellent job of measuring. Did you measure? No, I just made marks with a pencil. Bullcorn. Yeah, I just used the edges and then I made a mark on this plate on how What'd far in. Oh, okay, that's what that mark is on the plate? Yeah. So you just knew. No, I set the board in place where it needed to be marked here so I could, once I pulled the bore off, I would know how far from here to here. Uh-huh. But I just marked on the board where the edges of this were. Gotcha. Looks good, man. Looks bueno. Like you're bueno. You're a professional. No, I'm Juan. <laughs> Clean. What do you think of your floors? Your floors look amazing. 
All right, but we've finished this office uh, flooring video. And so hopefully that kind of, what I learned is just do it, right? Just do it. Just get down there and do it. Don't worry about all the precise measurements and your baseboards are going to cover up all of your edges. You need a gap around the sides for expansion and contraction. But man, it's only going to go in one spot. It's pretty pretty if, easy. If, if it's not straight, it's not going to go together. Yeah, it doesn't go together. It's a, you know, finding finding how to get it, put it together. Once you find that out, just go after it. Just get after it. Yeah, you can do it. So, um, appreciate y'all watching this video and do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. There you Holla. go. See ya.